to Colonial RV, where today we're going to take a look at some of the new features on the 2022 Winnebago Travato, the 59G. Winnebago has been producing the Travato for eight model years, and they have some significant changes in addition to RAM. We're going to head inside and take a look at the interior first. Walking in the 59G, you're going to see one of the biggest differences from Winnebago since they produced the G model in 2014. They no longer have the bench seat dinette that housed the water tank. The water tank has been moved inside the coach in the rear, which we'll show you in a little while. But now they have this nice pedestal here, which has some outlets you can push up and down. They have a second position for the Ram tough track mounts, which there's a few throughout the coach that can house any of your devices with uh, some, some mounts and put an iPad here. They also have another Lagoon bracket. So behind the driver's seat, you can move that table here if you wanted for the passenger or to be able to use it for outside space or an additional like cutting board. But one of the biggest things that I really like since we've been selling the 2014 Model G is they moved all of the systems just above the door. It just really makes sense to have them all in one position. So you have the power control system, you have a light switch which is just behind the driver and passenger. You have your one place system which you can get all your readings for your fresh water tank as well as to start and stop the generator. Your Truma system which is for the heat and hot water as well as a uh, thermometer thermostat here to be able to tell the temperature interior. You have your inverter control, your LP switch on and off, as well as your heated holding tanks. So all of it is right here just above the door, which really, really makes sense. Walking inside, you're also going to see that the dinette has changed. Winnebago now is looking for safety. They now have the third and fourth seat, which are three-point belts. And then they have the lagoon table, which you can also uh, change the position of it and kind of get it out of the way. The old table was, was just fixed. Uh, it would drop down to a bed, but now it just seems to just give more room inside the, uh, the front cab area, as well as uh, when you're stationary and you're boondock dry camping and you wanted to just spend more time up here in the cab. You can see by the seat position here, they actually have uh, automotive grade seating. It's a little bit more comfortable. Three point belts for both the third and fourth passenger, especially for children, it just makes it safe. They do have a nice little storage area be underneath the seats. Uh, so you do have additional storage, uh, which again, makes sense in a small coach. One of the other things different is with the cabinetry and the television, which used to be positioned here, they now have, instead of a stereo, they have the, the JBL soundbar, which is great when you're watching movies. And then the television now will swivel and you can not only just move it up here for the front seats, but now you can see it from the rear part of the bed. So that also is a great addition that Winnebago was putting this here when they moved all of the system controls uh, up and above the sliding door. This coach with the Travato in 2022, there are three interiors. This is new uh, for 2022, which has the white cabinets, uh, the Technoform cabinets. You'll see also they have changed the latches to positive locking latches. And they also have the roof access panel uh, up here, which is also new from last year. So this is the position if you wanted to put some type of a, a wee, uh, wine guard uh, for Wi-Fi, as far as a wee boost for cell phone, uh, a technician can access that. But we just wanted to show you the, the cabinetry because you do have the three options, either the walnut, you have teak, or you have the white cabinets as well. Here in the galley in the kitchen, Winnebago has also changed faucets, which you'll get to see here as well as in the shower and in the rear for the water system. They have still the two burner stove, which is propane based. All of the cabinets and latches, which you'll see will be throughout, have all changed. They do have the walnut bottoms with the accent with the white up on top and more controls. So much better latching system for all of the cabinets and the cabinetry. Opposite, we still have the microwave. And one thing which is nice, Winnebago did add here uh, in the wardrobe cabinet, they did add shelves and they also added a nice little mirror, uh, which is new. And they still have the Nova Cool, which is the top fridge and the bottom freezer. And these no longer work on propane as they did back in 2014. As we move back to the bathroom, there is another change, which we're going to get to with the, uh, the bed system. But with the water system, what they have is called the, uh, the new EcoHot. What that system will do is it'll help conserve water and it will flush any of the cold water when you're looking to get hot on demand. It'll push the, the cold water back into the fresh tank so you don't waste it as you're heating up the water uh, to come out any of the faucets or the shower. So that's a really nice system that Winnebago has in the Winnebago Solus since last year. And they now are adopting that among uh, the other Class B vans as well. In the shower, you're also going to see since uh, last year they raised the floor. You no longer need the pump. 
uh, for the shower, if you were taking a shower previously in the 59G model, you would have to turn on a water pump uh, in order to drain the water to the other side of the vehicle. So having that raised is going to just make sense as well inside the coach. And they also have a new shower head, uh, which is used to conserve water as well. And they have the new um, similar matching sink has changed as well, which you'll be able to see uh, here as we move into the bathroom. Also new in the bedroom for 2022, Winnebago has some nice storage, uh, which is just on the bottom part of the shower wall. It's great for shoes, as you can see. And then they also have very deep pockets uh, if you want to put any other belongings behind your shoes. Uh, so that really makes use of the space and just makes sense. A lot of the cabinetry and the storage is still the same underneath the bed. But one of the biggest differences for this 59G is the bed. And we're going to talk about that. Winnebago, they've come up with a new system here, which is uh, uh, it, it's aluminum. It's lightweight and it just really, really makes sense. And when you have a lock here, as we pull the bed down, they have the new Winnebago their wind sleep system uh, and they've also changed and made the bed bigger they've taken three inches in the back which is where your your upper body uh, would be and they've they've made the bathroom uh, three inches smaller and it kind of goes on an angle so it just makes sense for uh, two adults sleeping those extra three inches is going to make a very big difference uh, and also for comfort the slat system that they're using, which is European. Uh, this is just something new that they're putting into this coach as well. They put it and use this same system in their Winnebago Bolt and other Class Bs, and now they've adopted it into the 59G. Uh, and then all of the cabinetry here uh, is the same thing with the positive locking latches, the matching white cabinets. And then they also have a nice little storage keeper. And we also, in this coach, we've ordered it with the upgraded dual pane windows, which are acrylic. They open up as an umbrella style, as opposed to the sliders, which are single pane. Uh, so that is also a, a continued option uh, for 2022 here in the bedroom as well. After we put the bed up, which is also magnetic legs, so very easy, you can see we still have, uh, since uh, the last year and a half, Winnebago's upgraded to the, the Coleman NDQ Quiet. It is uh, Bluetooth, so you can control everything from your phone. Much more efficient and quiet roof air conditioner that when uh, customers uh, were talking, they just know that it was just too noisy, so it's great that that has still continued through. In addition, in the galley, we still have the Max Air fan, uh, which is great just to exhaust uh, any air and also keep the temperature. Uh, it does have its own rain hood and it's temperature sensitive, so you can check the temperature or set it however you'd like uh, to just on a day like today where it's, uh, it's not too hot, but it could get hot with the sun. You can just use the fan and not the roof air conditioner, which would run off of your generator or your 30 amp landline. Next, we're gonna walk up to the cab and show you some of the new RAM features as well as the new Pioneer stereo. Walking up to the front cab, Winnebago still has the storage up above. Uh, this is where you'd ha um, house your blinds, if you'd like, for the front windows for the privacy. And you also have for the front windshield. And then naturally with every Winnebago purchase, you do get an owner's manual, which will be everything for Winnebago as well for RAM. You're also gonna notice there's a few little round circles of Velcro. That rear annex screen, which we're gonna show you in a second when we get outside, it can be used as a quick, uh, if you just wanna get changed, but you didn't have time to throw in uh, the three separate uh, blinds for the front window and the side cab windows, you can just use the, ra the rear annex curtain and just with the Velcro, you can just hang it here. Also just to give you a little bit of uh, a break between the driver and then the rest of the cab. When you walk up all of the Ram uh, coaches, the seats do swivel. We ordered this coach with the upgraded ultra leather seats. You can also get the standard Ram uh, ProMaster, the black fabric. In order to do that, it's not that difficult. You just would have to make sure that the seats clear the B pillar. And there's a little release on the inside bracket. And you would just turn that around and the driver and passenger seats. You could then just move them back and they both would do the same thing. So you can use all of this space for your interior living in the evening or just throughout the day. When it comes to safety, it's nice that this year for the new Ram 2021 ProMaster chassis has a few really, really nice features. Number one, they have a new digital rear display. This is an actual camera. It's a second camera that will be located in the back of the vehicle. And the entire time it will be, it, you can have it that will be left on or you can have it set and turn it off to just be a rear view mirror. But it's nice that the digital rear view display is new and it's great for safety. 
The other thing, two items that they have with the Ram Pro Master chassis, they have crosswind assist, which would help you keep the van under a little bit better control uh, when it gets very windy. And they also have the blind spot monitoring with the little triangles on the mirror, just to help us out. We're all human beings. And if somebody's in your blind spot, this is the first year that the chassis would have that. The real cool features, if you're a tech person, I enjoy it as well. The new Pioneer 7-inch stereo is new for this year, and it really works well with the Ram chassis. In addition, it has Apple CarPlay, it has your Android Auto. It also has something called iLink Maestro, which is going to interface the van uh, and the, the Pioneer screen. And it's just called Car Features, and you could go in. You could also see all of the temperature. In addition to the menu up here, this is just going to give you more detail on uh, the temperature of the van uh, inside as far as the engine. The nice thing is that you can see that it has the tire pressure for each individual tire on the screen here, and that's all through the new interface system that the Pioneer has. We do have uh, an Apple phone here, so we can go back to the menu, and then the nice thing, you can also, with Apple CarPlay, uh, you can use your map system. Before, it was a much smaller screen with the TomTom, -tom, so this is also a really nice upgrade that you can work everything with your phone. In addition to your music, it also has Sirius XM, and there's an antenna on the roof, and then it also has Bluetooth capabilities to work off of the steering wheel with your phone. Now we're going to take a look outside at some of the features of the 2022 Travato 59G. Coming outside the main door, you'll see here Winnebago has carried over the row left screen. This is now standard and it's no longer an option, but it works very, very well. You can just unzip, undo the Velcro, take both zippers all the way down. And while you normally would think that you would have to unzip them to get in and out, with the roll left screen, they have a, a magnet, a very strong magnet that runs the whole length all the way to the top to the bottom. And then when you come out, it would just marry back up so that no bugs or anything would be able to get in. As we walk out, this is ordered the particular coach in the Granite Deluxe. Winnebago still offers four colors. You have white. You have the silver, granite, and the cherry red. They're both offered in the standard, which is without the painted bumpers, or with the deluxe, which this, this coach was ordered that way. As far as Winnebago, they still have carried over the power awning with the LED lights. Uh, that's 13 feet long. They did reposition the light, uh, exterior LED light, just for your camping side. So it just it seems to make more sense there than it did in the back of the van. All of the Ram uh, 3500 chassis, which you can see they have the aluminum wheels, which is great because they're lighter for handling and also they conduct less heat uh, to save the brakes over time. So all of the Travados are built on the Ram 3500 chassis, which is 21 feet long. Right behind the sliding door, you do have some uh, household AC current duplex outlets. You also have right up here, you have a, a coaxial cable if you wanted to watch TV and a 12 volt point. And then they also have a, an external solar port if you wanted to put a portable solar panel. If you're going to be out in, in the sun like we are today, you can take advantage of that right here from the ground. In addition to the 215 watts, which we're going to show you in a few minutes up on the roof. Here in the rear of the 2022 Travato, Winnebago has taken the same annex that was introduced in the Solus a year ago, and they've now put it on the Travato. And again, it really, really makes sense for the rear of the coach to be able to use this space uh, when you're looking in a small van. This rear annex curtain, which can also be used up front, as we mentioned, uh, you can just pull it across. You can get some privacy if you want to take an outside shower using the water system, which we're going to show you here in a second. One other thing that I really, really have been looking for for a while, Winnebago, for when the door was shut, you would almost be very, very difficult to get your hand in to open the door, which could also be a safety problem. Now they've added this latch. As you can see, uh, it's, it's secured to the back door, so it's much, much easier to open this, uh, this passenger side rear door when the doors would be shut. New for 2022, Winnebago also has these new privacy curtains, which are complete blackout and don't let any light through and they also would help. They're, they're cushioned uh, for just between the doors as well as the inside of the coach for heat and air conditioning would help as far as thermal and insulation. They have them on both sides. Winnebago also added a grab handle if you're looking to get in. Uh, they didn't have that before, which is really nice. Uh, and then this screen is also new, which Winnebago builds in-house. The previous screen had little buttons and then that would just be uh, it would be just a recipe for little bugs could still get through. So now they have the same screen, similar to the side. And you're just going to zip it all the way down, just like the side door. 
And again, it just makes sense and just provides a much better screening uh, for summertime with bugs. Behind this shower, they still have and had passed through the, the uh, storage door. You also have your LED light. Uh, and then you have your, your water, a little storage here, so that when you are going to be using the outside shower, you can just plug this right in, and then you have your hot and cold. And right here on the, on the driver's side, this is new, that you no longer have the ports for water for the fill, as well as city fill, and the tank fill on the outside of the van. Winnebago has adopted this system on the Solus uh, over a year ago, and they brought it over to the Travato. It just really, really shows simple instructions, depending if you're, you're filling your tank uh, or you're doing winterizations. You also have access to the water pump here, and you also have uh, cable if you wanted to hook up a television or do some uh, camping right outside here in the back of the coach. Uh, the water tank has been moved, as we mentioned, it's no longer up front, and it's now underneath uh, in this area, so it's just easy access uh, for a mechanic or for when you're filling uh, the tanks. You do have some additional storage, uh, that's behind here for your plumbing, uh, which is you know right here, and then you also have uh, the ram uh, fill for any type of a flat tire or for air pressure. Uh, you still get that as well from ram manufacturer. As we take down the rear annex curtain and we shut the door, you're going to see this was ordered with the uh, the rooftop as well as the ladder, which we're going to show you how that works. But the only option we didn't order on this particular coach is the bike rack, which you can can order it from the factory, and we have them even installed aftermarket. This position here for the ladder is just a stow position. It's not meant for you to climb up on the van. Uh, you could bend the door over time or the bracket itself. It does have a locking mechanism as well, and it's very easy just to take off. And you're just going to move it anywhere on the driver's side of the van if you wanted to get up and do some maintenance or to put a kayak or anything that you'd want. You would not use this ladder on the driver's side because of the awning. There's too little of a tolerance in order for that ladder to fit up on top. Winnebago did carry over their LED light uh, just for utilities if you're out here dumping the tanks. And one other feature we just wanted to mention, uh, the new uh, Onan generator, which is underneath the coach. You can see the exhaust right there. That is the new quiet generator, the 2800i. Uh, it's, it's definitely approved for all of the national parks as far as the noise level. If you ask me, I'd say that it was 50 or 75% quieter than the old one. Even when you're inside the van, it really is a nice feature that's coming with the Travato. Moving forward, with just you have your 30 amp landline, your Truma hot exhaust, your propane fill, and then you have your sewer hose uh, storage position. So if you just wanted to take your sewer hose when you're done uh, dumping the tanks, the black and the gray, you can just stow the hose right here. Now we're going to just show you a closer look of the roof and the solar. We're going to head up there. Come on. Up here on the roof of the 2022 Winnebago Travato, first thing you're going to get to see is with this rack system, they have the 215 watts of solar panels. They're actually mounted to the crossbars. You do have the rails where on the driver's side, you would be able to fit any type of toys or anything you were looking into, kayaks or snowboards or ski racks. Uh, but with the solar panels, with the two, you also have the port, which is located back here, and it has additional ports that you could add more solar. Now, there's not a lot of real estate on the roof of the Travato. You do have the Max Air vent cover here, which would pop up and keep rain off. You also have your Coleman, uh, the air conditioner mounted back here. You have some vents, and just with the crossbars alone, you wouldn't have a lot more room to use solar, but you can still use the port down on the camping side if you wanted to add more solar panels. One other feature which was nice since last year, there's a little square uh, roof access panel if you were looking to add uh, an aftermarket for your cell phone as we mentioned inside or for Wi-Fi, that would be the position that a technician can tap into that roof very easily. And other than the antennas that you have up here for the Sirius XM and the radio, this is the roof of the 2022 Travato. Thanks for joining us today to take a look at the, the new 2022 Winnebago Travato, the 59G updated floor plan. And if you have any questions or comments, visit us online at colonialrv.com or call us at 1-800-265-9019. And from all of us at Colonial RV and the Jersey Coast, thanks for watching and drive carefully.